Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks Build and Rescue. Um, just wanted to show off a build I've been working on for quite some time here. Uh, I'm going to show you the PNC Moth 821. This is the Luna. Uh, it is modeled after an actual Luna Moth and you'll see the shape of it once we get this thing airborne. But uh, let's, let's, uh, let's do a little walk around here. Uh, as you can see, it is a, it's going to be a VTOL. Uh, these do rotate and we can go into plane mode. Uh, what is interesting about this is there is no control surfaces on this plane whatsoever. Everything is controlled through prop changing. So uh, we do have a huge fuel tank here, uh, capable of carrying about 12,000 liters. Uh, we could also supply that with water if we needed to, because this thing does have two cannons with independent water tanks on it as well. Uh, full water weather system. And yeah, we got a winch and everything. And this thing is remote controlled. So we're gonna get this thing uh, up in the air. We're gonna fly it around a little bit and then we're gonna go pick up some cargo crates and see what we can do with it. Uh, this tank is actually empty right now. I am gonna leave it here. There's no reason to take it with us today. So we're just gonna, let's go around here. It might be a little easier to get into it. Uh, we'll just jump in here. We're gonna disconnect you right there. We're gonna jump in our pilot seat. Let's see, we can get our radar on. Navigation on, we'll go dark with that. Don't need night vision and we can get our weather on. Looks like it's a nice day to go flying. Gyros on, landing lights, spotlights, don't need any of those. Don't need our flares, everything is a good to go. Water cannons, throttles good. All right, let's get it started. All right, comes right off this with ease. As you can see, we can come scooting out of the hangar here. Nice and easy, nice and easy, and up we go. All right, so as you can see, there is the shape we're looking at, which is that classic Luna Moth shape. Um, they are generally fully green, but it was a little bit too much green for me, so we went black with some green stripes. I think that works out good. Uh, yeah, let's get over to... South Sawyer is right over there, and there's some... Uh... Where we could go over there? Let's go... Let's go over here. Let's go to North, let's go to North Terminal. Uh, we'll go into plane mode. Goes into plane mode with ease. We do have some slight pitch up on our motors here or on our props. Uh, and that is just because when we are carrying cargo and we go into plane mode, the weight of it actually will sink us down. So we use that to kind of keep us up in the air and keep us airborne a little bit. Um, if it does lift up a little bit, you can control that with a little bit of trim right there. But let's get in here and see if we can't pick up some, pick up some stuff. All right, we're coming in hot. I'm gonna go ahead and go into helicopter mode here. I'm um, gonna find us a nice little spot to set it down. And if any of you wanna mess with this, play with this, build on this, this will be on the workshop. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the descriptions. And you guys are welcome to mess around with it, make it better, make it worse, whatever you guys wanna do. All right, let me, I'm gonna shut us down here a little bit while we go and investigate some of these containers and it is nice back here you cannot fall off back here you actually have to jump to get out so you can come out here mid-flight look around see what's going on oh yeah i do have some magols here as well and this is so that when we ever do those little scientist missions and you need to carry their cargo you can just do 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 you can just magnetize that right to the little side here so it pretty much will do almost all missions in game except really just it doesn't float on water so it's kind of the all-in-one um let's get some cargo containers going here that one i might crash into we're gonna set this one up we'll set this one up and we'll set this one up now it used to carry five cargo crates i've got pictures of it but ever since i've had to uh do some work on it added some weight to it the balancing it just does not like it anymore so we're down to three which is still good still being able to carry three crates especially across the air is, is something something to be said something special all right, let's get back in here. I'm going to turn remote control mode on. Let's put our throttle back up here. Okay, do I have a remote control? I do, and we are already set here. So let's get, let's get this thing a flying. All right, up we go, let's turn her. Ooh, easy does it, easy does it. Let's get it over there where we need it to go. All right, let's run over there. You get a little bit further over there so I don't clip that pole. Now I can come over here. We'll stand right here on this corner. And with a little bit of fine tuning. Whoops, wrong way, wrong way. Let's go. A little bit more. 
Trust me, it's a lot easier with a remote control than it is doing it from first person mode. Uh, I have done it before, and there we go. We are attached to that one. Let's come over to this one here. Oh, I am going to need to do something real quick before we do this. I need to put this into hauling mode. As you can hear, the engines are revving up there, getting some more RPMs out of it so that we can get back in this thing. All right, so let's get over here and let's carry these. Here we go. Let's turn it around. And that, that container actually looks good under there. It's matches the same green. We might have to carry only only acres, only acres stuff with this. Now nah, we'll get the we'll get the D line and the clam oil as well. Coming in, let's bring it down. I'm a little off here. Let's uh, let's readjust. Can we come down? Are we close enough? Oh, we're not close enough. Okay, let's see if we can back it up into it. Ooh, all right, it's a little finicky. There we go. There we go. All right. Come over here to the next one. You can really hear those engines working now. Come on in here and scoot this down. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That's all right. Good thing the wind's not blowing. There we go. And we have our crates down. All right, let's uh let's get up in the seat here. All right, that took a little longer to get up here than I, than I expected. Um, I'm going to have to do some work on the harness and the control systems of that. But other than that, everything is working pretty good. Let's uh, let's get into our pilot seat here. I don't know where these crates need to go, so we're just going to take them down there to South Sawyer just for the sake of making a trip with them. And, yeah, we're going to see what this thing can do. So let's get this thing up in the air. Did I forget to take it out of remote control mode? Nope, we're good. All right, there we go. Lift off. I was wondering something was going on. I had I, controls were not set up right. All right, so we're lifting up. We're gonna get some height before we pop this into uh, plane mode, and then we're gonna get on our way here. Wait till we get about 200, because we'll probably drop about 50 feet in the process of changing over. And here we go. Let's change over. We are dropping some, but that's all right. We'll get a little bit of pitch up, and we're carrying crates or cargo containers, you guys. Simple as that. Uh, I have tested this out with the extra tank. Uh, not since I've redone some updates, but it will fly to the Arctic. So with, with three crates and full full tank and maybe a little bit of extra fuel up underneath, you can get there. See, we're just cruising along here too. How many, how many knots are we doing? We're just uh, ooh, 100 knots sideways. I'll take it. 100 knots sideways. I mean, it really is a smooth ride, you guys. Battery's good. Okay, nothing on that gauge yet. So we got a few things to work on. Alt held is still not a thing. Other than that, everything else works. GPS, auto nav, all that works. Radar works, water cannons work. Let's see, Psh, you can shoot those. You'll see that they're going backwards because we're moving, but they are cannons. So you can shoot those forward if you wanted to. Uh, it's about 550 liters in each one of those. Bunch of med kits. You can just about do anything here, honestly. All right, here we go. We're coming up to South Sawyer. Let's uh, let's get a little little lower down here, and we'll drop these guys off. Man, we are just cruising. We're cruising through here, and I'm sure one of you's out there smart enough to uh, figure out the issue with why I'm only carrying three now. I'm sure you can find out a nice gear ratio for us. Get it all tweaked out. Let's go into helicopter mode here and start bringing it down. Yeah, it's just it's, the more weight I added to it, the more more I changed it, the more it just didn't like it. The more I got those uh, classic stormwort wobbles. We go down. Let's go down. There we go. We're going down slowly, but we're going down. Yeah, once it once it starts to wobble, I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. It just it kind of ruins a build for you. So you end up having to tweak things and it just you lose power. So, but I will take, you know, three cargo crates, considering how quick we moved them from one spot to the other is I'd say is pretty good. Um, are we going to actually land in the parking lot here? We are going to set it down nice and Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nope, not nice and easy. Okay. Well, that was on me. That was totally on me. All right. Since I ruined those over there and not landing, I'm just grabbing a couple more here so I can actually show you guys that I can land this thing with it. So we're just going to grab a couple of these, take off with it, and land with it. That's all right. Get a little bit more demo time on showing you how the remote control works, right? If it's not flying, it might help to uh, turn off remote control. So, uh... 
that might be a tip for you. We're just gonna fly over here to the uh, the creative base, and we're gonna drop these guys off. That way, we're not making a really long flight. Bringing it down. Bring it down a little slower than I did last time, because we don't want to catch it on fire or roll over like we did last time. Nice, nice. And then you come over here and you just push this little button right there and then we are done and we are out of here. We can gear back down, get out of Holland mode and you can go home. And that would be a delivery done. Do a little buzz by the lighthouse here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you, uh, I hope you dig this build. Uh, this build will be down in the comments if you guys want to check this out, mess around with it yourself. So yeah, and if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel, comment down below, and we will see you guys in the next one.